Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog and happy Mother's Day. Well, technically Mother's Day is going to be over once this is posted. Um, no, we can post it today. Uh, then I have to edit it. Y'all look. Hey, yo, we could do a non-edited vlog. I guess I could. Y'all forgive me if this is non-edited. <laughs> Cause we gonna be looking crazy. Any, I know, right? Anyway, y'all, I'm so blessed because um, my husband got me some stuff for Mother's Day, which is really cool. Um, because I had been talking to him before about, you know, just kind of like what I was talking about in my last video, where I was talking about how to get through Mother's Day after you've experienced the loss. And um, I was talking to Daryl about it, so he went out and he got me some stuff. He's so sweet. Hey, that right, honey? Come here. I can't agree with you. That'd be weird. Honey, come here. Can't agree with you though. And then my mom got me a car too. My mom always always like tells me happy Mother's Day and everything. So I was like, oh man, this one's the one that Daryl got for me. And he got me some flowers. He knows I've been wanting some flowers. They're so pretty. The only thing about Daryl and flowers is that like every thing, every time he gets me flowers, he wants me to keep them alive for like the rest of my life. Like he wants those flowers to grow old with me. And it's just you know. He just gets so upset when they don't. <laughs> and something else. And then my mom also got me a necklace and she got me a um a wallet. So cute. So um yeah, y'all just want to make a quick vlog and just show you all um how blessed I am. But also not even in like a let me let me show y'all everything I got. Let me do this haul. But also in saying um going back to the video that I made, it it does help a lot i know for me a lot of women are different some women don't want to celebrate mother's day at all they don't want anything they don't want to be acknowledged or anything but i know for me like even just getting cards like it just warms my heart because it's like i i feel acknowledged because a lot of the time you can feel so like what was the word i used earlier honey um, isolated, isolated from the the whole holiday, and so when people go out of their way to do nice things for you or or get you something just to show that you know like they're thinking of you, it does go a long way. So that is kind of my own personal case in point about the whole thing. How you feeling today, honey? What do you mean? How am I feeling? How you feeling today? So fine. Now, Father's Day might be a different story. I know. We'll have to see about Father's no, Day. No, I mean, listen, man. Father, I don't, I'm just not, and it doesn't affect me like that. I would uh, turn it on him, y'all. Like when Father's Day comes around, it's like, I'm not going to feel negative. I'm not going to feel like, you know, disjointed from everybody or everything. I just, you know, I'm, I deal with it differently. That's all. Like most men are not usually affected by it like that because we didn't carry the child or anything like that. So it's not like we're begging to be acknowledged or we want people to be like, oh, happy Father's Day. But, you know, usually I get Father's Day gifts on Father's Day anyway, which is really weird. So my wife, like, for example, she wants to be acknowledged and she kind of wants that acknowledgement. Like her pregnancy happened and we acknowledge that she lost the pregnancy. And this is our way of saying we love her and we support her. On my end, it's like I don't want anyone to acknowledge that on Father's Day. It's like it feels weird because I wasn't even a father. So why are you why are you going out of your way to mention me, but don't go out of your way to mention my wife, the person that actually carried the child? I don't know. It's weird. So I just I don't even bother with it. No. Well, that's his his two cents. And like I said, a lot of people handle it differently. There are a lot of women who think of it the same way my husband does. They don't want anything to do with it. But there are a lot of women who do have that emotional connection to, you know, their, the holiday and to their pregnancies and everything. So it works out a lot different. But my point is, is that however you are, um, if you've been through loss, however you are, don't be ashamed of it. Um, just be you and and be that be you boldly and if you are the loved one of someone who has gone through or is going through a loss then you kind of have to know how to ask the right questions but if you're the one who's going through the loss you have to know to speak up because nobody can know what to do for you or how to treat you unless you tell them so a lot of the time if they don't know like if you don't speak they're just going to 
not do or say anything because they're, they're afraid they're going to trigger you. So you have to know how to speak up and let people know what you need and what's going through your mind and where oh, you oh, are. Oh, let me say this. Oh. And don't be that person who's really? like, oh, I wish people would say something. And then when someone says something, you don't like what they said. You can't, you beggars can't be choosers. If you want someone to acknowledge your loss, then let them do it the way they know how. Yeah. It might and, be. And teach them. Sometimes people. Sometimes they don't know. People just don't know. Right. But that doesn't mean you have to. Antagonize but then why them you can't them. be upset with them and antagonize them for doing it the way they know how to do it? Someone might come up to you and say, "Hey, you know what? That other child is coming. Don't you worry about it." I've heard women go, "Are they trying to tell me to ignore and forget my other child?" No, that's just how they know to cope with what you're going through. So I've met women who are like. You know, I want people to say something, but I don't like the way they say it or what they say. You can't control that. Either you want someone to say something or you don't. That's just, it has to go one way or the other. It's, you know, that's it. <laughs> you, just gotta, you just can't be that person. Like, oh, well, you got to say it a certain way. Nah, bro. It's not, it doesn't work like that. So because, like, you want sympathy or you don't. Yeah, period. because the thing is, is that a lot of people are un educated not everybody has gone through a loss the six statistics say um one in four yeah one in four and one in four is kind of it's kind of a large number but it's not super large one in four also doesn't include women who did not know they had a miscarriage mm -hmm. or women who includes, didn't speak up about it right that number includes those who didn't weren't even aware that they had a miscarriage until Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons that we speak so openly and so often about it is because it's bringing awareness. There are so many women who are out there who are just like broken and dying on the inside. Y'all, my shirt inside out. Don't talk about me. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking at my reflection in the camera and I was like, my shirt is inside out. But anyway, um, there are so many women who are like privately quietly suffering because they're afraid to speak up or because they feel like people just don't get it or people just aren't aware honestly before I had my first miscarriage I didn't know anything about miscarriage all I was taught in school was that if you have sex unprotected even even protected if you have any type of sex you gonna get pregnant but they don't tell you what happens when you get pregnant and you lose the baby or when you want to get pregnant and it just isn't happening so um, it's something that is a fairly new to a lot of people. There are some women out there who are so fertile. The idea of, of, of loss to them is like, what? <laughs> so you have to kind of think about those things before you judge somebody or attack somebody for how they come at you. First of all, it's a blessing to even have people come at you because... It, it's it you have to realize how much pressure that person feels like oh I don't know what to say and if I do say it is it gonna be the right thing so you kind of have to keep those things in mind when you're interacting with people especially about loss <sighs> yeah so anyway y'all I just want to make a really quick vlog that turned into kind of a little bit longer vlog but whatever um and just I know an inspirational short um and just to just to say happy mother's day to all of you and encourage you to just you know love each other and love yourself and, and just right, trust that <laughs> dang it's unedited okay y'all oh, I had to burp I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> this fire stuff is edited. Um, okay, y'all. Just remember, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. And Lord willing, we will see y'all next time. Bye. Turn it off, turn it off, turn honey, it off. Turn honey, it off, turn it off. bye.